Scott Gassage with Haas Automation. And today I'm in the Haas machine shop talking with Bob Singh, longtime supervisor in the machine shop. And today, Bob, I wanted to talk to you about index on the fly. It's this neat feature we have inside the Haas control. We've had it forever, and I know you yeah. guys make great use of it here in the shop to reduce cycle times, to be more efficient. Yeah. Can, you, can you explain how that works for me? Oh, index on the fly, it's just a more quicker, efficient way of indexing your tools. So you reduce your cycle time. Okay, now what, what's the actual mechanics that happen that, that make it faster? I mean, a normal tool change, when we would index tools, we would come down, use the tool, go to a home position, index, and then come down and start machining again. Correct. Ha this, this um, as it's going away from the part to do the index, it's already uncoupled and ready for the tool change. By the time it gets to the position to index, it's already done half the job already. Okay, so instead of having machine motion, turret right. motion, linear right. motion, you're actually it uncoupling won't... the turret as you move. Correct. Wow, so that really does speed up the tool change time. It does, yes. Okay, yes. that's awesome. Can we check it out on the machine? Yeah, of course Okay. Wow, so right there, you can see where we're still moving and the turret's uncoupled. Correct. Now, is that splash of coolant? That's an indication where the turret's actually uncoupled, uncoupled right? Uncoupled already before the actual home position okay. got reached. And you can see the clearance that we need. It's very, very close, the index to the part, uh -huh. but it is safe. So it's part of that safe. to make it useful is you need to also do your tool change the shortest distance away from it, the material. That's the whole point of the index on the fly. You actually get to think about how close you need to be to the part rather than going all the way to the home position. Okay. And it saves valuable seconds. Sure, because I'm not going all, particularly on a bigger machine. Yeah. I mean, this is an ST30. You've got almost 30 inches of Z-travel. If you went home every time, yeah. That's wasted motion for every single tool change. Correct, and if you've got a station like this, which is 24 station, it's gonna save a lot of time with all those tools going Absolutely. Ahead. Okay, so now we're running the live tooling. Wow, that is quick. You can see that it just barely moves enough to get the clearance. Correct. So what's happening is, instead of going all the way to that home position, yeah. I come out far enough so that my tools will clear the part. Correct. And then I start indexing. So I'm actually uncoupling the turret while yes. I'm coming to that position. Yeah. Because that's wasted motion. If I wait to get all the way up there just to uncouple an index, why not do the uncouple while I'm traveling away that's in exactly a rapid right. move? Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. So when we set up jobs in the shop, if we set it up more of the, what you could call the old school traditional way, where I go all the way to the home position, index tools come back, how much time would that add to any to your average part? You know, how much percentage wise? Um, it can be between 5 and 15 percent. It depends on how much indexing you're going to be doing. So the more tool changes I have, the more time I'll save. Exactly. Okay, so a guy who has a Haas machine that has been using this, he can easily pull 5 percent or even more out exactly. of every job he's already running. Exactly. Wow, that's fantastic. That's real Haas value. That's making it easier and faster for you to run your parts, get back into the cut, make chips faster, which means you're making money faster. Bob, I appreciate the time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.